from your breaking news and weather authority. You're watching News 10 Today. Good morning. It's Thursday, January 11th. I'm Laura Painter. Good morning. I'm Kirk Montgomery. Welcome to News 10 Today. Good morning, Darren. Mm, good morning. It is like an Agatha Christie novel. Well, the, well it is. I mean, we Doom have been some very mild misty. temperatures. Yeah. It's misty. We've got fog. And uh, we're going to climb today into the mid to upper 50s. Ooh, heat wave. That's unbelievable. <laughs> it, it is. Even <laughs> on the drive in, yeah. around 1 a.m., I look at the temperature gauge on my car yep, and it said like 51. And it's right. Yep. And that's Balmy. well above where we should be this time of the year. Sad to say this is one day shot and then things uh, kind of go okay. back to normal tomorrow. Start off with a look at our weather headlines and today a windy warmer day mid 50s maybe the upper 50s today. Scattered showers continue for us and we'll have some patchy areas of fog too. Colder air starts to return late tonight. Currently it's 52 in Lansing. 54 in Jackson. We are at 50 right now in Hillsdale for today. Some on and off rain showers. It's a windy day and occasionally some patchy fog. Notice the highs. We're showing the mid 50s, but it wouldn't be surprised if some of us don't make it into the upper 50s today. We'll talk about the weekend coming up. All right. Thank you, sir. Breaking news to start a Thursday morning. Another late night robbery in the capital city after four men held up a game store on the city's south side. And right now, police are on the hunt for the suspects. It happened at Games of Skill in the 3600 block of South Waverly just before midnight. We just got off the phone with Lansing police who tell us four men walked into the store when three of them pulled out guns and demanded cash. The suspects ran off with some money before police arrived. No one was hurt. Police dogs were brought in to track the men down, but it was not successful. Police say it's too early in the investigation to tell if these are the same suspects who held up the quality dairy on Cedar Street Tuesday night. In that case, two men held up the store at gunpoint no one there was hurt. They both ran off with money before police arrived. No arrests have been made. If you have any information on either armed robbery, give Lansing police a call. Breaking overnight, star gymnast Allie Raisman is accusing USA Gymnastics of being 100% responsible for former team doctor Larry Nasser's years of sexual abuse. Raisman made those accusations in a series of tweets yesterday. They come just months after the organization commended her for coming forward about allegedly being abused by Nasser, her tweets tagging USA Gymnastics, accusing the organization of enabling Nasser and manipulating athletes. She also accuses USA Gymnastics of victim shaming, quoting now, if you don't believe I and others were abused, then why pressure and manipulate us? You are 100% responsible. It was mandatory to get treatment by Nasser, end quote. Another tweet says, quote, if safety is the number one priority by USA Gymnastics, then why don't they want to know all of the factors that contributed to the worst abuse in the history of abuse. Now that tweet included the hashtags investigate and we need answers. And that tweet storm comes a day after former USA Gymnastics star Maggie Nichols said she was also a victim of Nasser. On Tuesday, USA Gymnastics said it hired an independent investigator to look into Nichols' claim at the time and then reported it to the FBI. The organization went on to say it never tried to hide any of Nasser's misconduct. Right now, crews are searching for people who are still missing in those Southern California mudslides. At least 12 people are still unaccounted for. At least 17 people have died. The mudslides have destroyed at least 100 homes. Another 300 other homes have been damaged. More than 50 people had to be rescued by helicopters after they climbed onto the roofs to escape those mudslides. Some of the people who live in that area had only been back home a week or so after being evacuated from the devastating wildfires last month. The process is underway to bring the Wayne County couple wanted in that brutal murder of a four-year-old girl back to Michigan. The girl's mother, Candace Diaz, and her boyfriend, Brad Fields, are being charged in Georgia. This as horrific new details are emerging about Gabby Barrett's death. There are details of what happened to her that are simply too disturbing to reveal. They are found in court documents recently filed by Child Protective Services as they tried to strip Diaz and Fields of their parental rights. New body camera footage from Georgia shows their arrest Tuesday. According to court documents, Candace Diaz claimed on New Year's Eve in their Sumter Township home, Gabby ran her own bathwater, causing her burns to her skin. The next day, Diaz told investigators Gabby wanted to take another bath and she placed the girl in the tub and left the room. 
When she returned, Diaz says she found Gabby submerged up to her nose in water. Diaz claims she pulled the little girl out of the tub and called Brad Fields in from the next room to come help. According to court records, she waited more than half an hour to call 911. By the time police arrived, they found Gabby unresponsive in the tub with extensive bruising and severe burns all over her body. The Washtenaw County Medical Examiner told detectives this was the worst case, the worst child death case in their 27 years of practice. Diaz and Fields are both claiming to have several mental health issues that they admitted they weren't taking medication for. Both are charged with murder, torture, and child abuse. A reward is being offered for information leading to the conviction of whoever left a dog on the side of the road that starved to death in Lansing Township. And a word of caution, we do want to warn you, these pictures are disturbing. The dog was found near the intersection of West Kalamazoo and Rosemary Avenue, west of downtown, last Saturday. MSU examined the male Labrador Retriever pointer mix and ruled it died of long-term starvation. Ingham County Animal Control is offering a $500 reward. If you have any information, please give them a call. We are also expecting to learn more today about a hit-and-run crash that left several cars and a building damaged in Lansing. A pickup truck went through a wall at Ellie's Place on Oakland Avenue right around 2.30 yesterday afternoon. That same truck also ran into several cars in the parking lot. In total, 10 vehicles were damaged, but fortunately nobody was hurt. A witness says the truck was chasing a car when it all went down, and we're working to find out if the truck and its driver have been found. We'll let you know when we get an update. Well, still ahead, before you know it, tax season will be here. Yeah, experts say you'll want to file as soon as possible. Some important dates you'll want to know about.